Okay, it's a perfect example why you write everything down. At your skincare classes, you can write everything down. Even with virtual, I have to write everything down. Otherwise, I just start to go and I don't record. Um, but this is the after party for the Miracle Set 3D. So this is just going to end at 11.15 before we start our next um, party. But I know Raina probably has some things. She's like, oh, I wish I would have said this. And sometimes I say this. That is going to be how all your parties are. Every single party you do, even 36 years later, um, every party I do, I can walk out of there and go, okay, that went well. I think as women, we need to remind ourselves, let's talk about what went well. Like it may just be you survived because sometimes the environment you're in or like some people's homes, and I mean, they're, you're putting yourself in people's lives when you're in their homes and all sorts of crazy can be going on. And so sometimes you're just happy to survive or if it's your first party or if it's your first party in a while, getting back on the bike. But every single one, like, okay, this went well. Okay, I'll keep doing that again. But this needs to change. I need to change this to do individual consultations, this to, you know, et cetera. So um, know that you probably will never get to the point where any one party goes exactly how you want it to. And that's fine. You want people to like you. You want people to have value. They learn something, even if they leave and don't buy anything, they got value from it. So if someone else tells them they're going to a Mary Kay party, oh, you're going to have fun. Not, oh, don't go. That's just high pressure sales, or it's just, you know, that obligatory buy thing. Um, so you want them to leave having something of value, but your main job is getting them on skincare versus supplements or anything else. And then doing the things that Raina did, the referrals, the bookings, um, the four point recruiting plan and the booking from that booking. So Raina, what, like when you walk away from the party you just did, what else do you want them to know? Okay, a couple of things. Um, first of all, I forgot to do the oil free eye makeup remover and the micellar water. And that that would not have happened if they were actually taking their makeup off because I would have, I would have been, Jaws like, oh, y'all gotta take your eye makeup off first. So I would not have forgotten that. So I did want to tell everybody, I always do the oil free eye makeup remover and the micellar water, and then we do the skincare. Um, so that's the first thing. Um, and then another thing that I do in my parties that I did not do today because of lack of time, I always, my guests always use the sonic brush. So I have a bowl of water with the sonic brush. And so when they're washing their face, they're using the brush at the same time. Now, if you don't have enough brushes for everybody at the party, then just give it to the hostess. But I have six that I've taken out of my inventory um, that I use. And so for the most part, when I do in-person parties, everybody's using a sonic brush. And I also use a blending brush for the foundation CC powder. You know, the I have six of those that I've taken out of my, or CC, cream that I've taken out of my inventory that I clean each time, you know, with a brush, you know, you know, all the things um, that I always use at my parties. And that upsells the sonic brush and the blending brush at the same time. And those are two easy things that you can incorporate, you know, into your parties. Um, oh, and another thing that I, I really like this closing sheet because it's very simple. Um, but I was going to go over the extra exfoliations because you have to go over those in the party because that's a set at the end. You know what I mean? So you have to have gone over those. Well, when I got to the sets, I realized, oh, shoot, I forgot, I forgot to go over those. Um, and so I just incorporated it into the end. So it really didn't matter because they're not, they're not trying all those four exfoliations. So it didn't matter if I talked about it while they were doing the skincare or if I talked about it at the end. I mean, nobody knew that I messed up except for me. Um, so that was another thing too. Raina, can you look back over that list and anything else that you did? Because you have people sitting at the table. So if people are doing it live and someone's sitting at a table, that all makes sense. But can you go through that list and some things that if people are doing this on Zoom, how it is different? Like if they have, they would, no one would have all those full-size products unless they bought the whole roll-up bag and then they're learning how to do it. Some may have foil packs of skincare. Some may have trial size sets, but 
No one is going to have all of that. So let's just pretend QVC style. Let's go from one extreme to the other. One, they, they're sitting in front of you with everything. Now let's pretend that you're doing this on Zoom and they're in Zoom rooms. And so it's QVC style. Share with them some tips of how they could substitute out the different things um, like the deal or no deal, the getting referrals. Obviously QVC, you're still just detailing the product, um, the individual consultation. Share some tips if you were right there teaching the class but your guests were in a Zoom room without products. Okay, if, if I was doing a Zoom and they don't have samples and they're just looking at me, I would do what I do every Tuesday and Thursday night and I would just you know hold the product up and talk about it um, and just be Vanna White. I mean, and just, but what I would make sure that I do that I have learned is I would be very quick with my explanation and I would only talk about interesting tips that go along with the product. Um, and you you will learn over time different things that you can say. Like when I was talking, like what I did at the end, when I was talking about all the different extra exfoliations, I have a set thing that I say for each one of them. Um, and then you just hold it up and you show it. But if you're doing a Zoom where people have packets or they have samples then you can have the sample in front of you and you can say okay here's the sample take out the one that has the the cleanser cut it and then tell them what to do um you can do it you know like that mm -hmm. um as far as deal or no deal i haven't figured out how to do deal or no deal virtually um so what i had to do virtually to be able to get bookings is i had to and this was from trial and error. I basically just told the guest, whether it was Zoom like this or if it's Facebook messaging, if I got two uh, parties booked from the party, then the hostess would receive the sonic brush or the travel bag or whatever. I found that they will book a party. If it's virtual and they don't know me and we're not face to face, they will book a party if they're helping their friend. So, um, just asking them and giving them half, that's not really going to get them to book a party, but helping their friends. Yes. So I'm thinking of if you were doing zoom with your deal or no deal, you could still do deal or no deal the same way. And instead of them, um, you could, you know, okay, they can text you if they have their cell phone, they can text you while you're zooming mm -hmm. or they can put it in the chat. Mm -hmm. that they wanted to take an envelope and then you can open it up for Jane. You can open it up for Jennifer. You can open it up and they can share what yeah. they got. So you do exactly the same thing as you did, but they're doing it through the chat versus through their voice. Right. Yes. And, and I have done that before. Yes. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. So with the um, product details, like you said, you had something that you said about each one. Is there anything that you didn't say in your skincare class that you want to share with them so they hear your words? Um, I don't think so. I, I can't think of anything that I didn't say. One thing that I always try to make sure I say, and this is probably the teacher coming out of me, is I'm teaching these women how to care for their skin. And I'm teaching them as to why the skincare has to be bought together. Uh, so I always talk to them about you know, washing your face versus washing your face with a cleanser that has an exfoliator and a toner in it, and how you have to prepare your face for the reservoir trough or the retinol. And yeah, can I sell you the the, the jar that has the retinol in it? Well, sure I can, but I'm not going to. And this is why. And I explained to them about the isolation and, you know, so my job is just to teach these women how to care for their skin because most of the time they don't know. They think just washing their face with a cleanser and putting on a moisturizer, you know, and, and that's better than nothing because I did have somebody tell me she washed her face with a shampoo that fell down on her face, you know. You know so it's better than that, you know, but I look at a skincare class, whether it's Zoom, uh, if, if I'm live Tuesday and Thursday, not my Facebook group, or if it's here live, I'm teaching these women how to care for their skin. And that's what I focus on. Mm -hmm. Well, and that, that's why Mary Kay created this company is to teach the first goal of this company was not to enrich women and children's lives all over the world. It was to be the finest teaching oriented skincare company in the country. 
That was the original goal. Because Mary Kay saw that there was a huge void in the teaching skincare. You either went to the grocery store or a drugstore and just bought and no one taught you, or you sat on a stool at a department store and no one taught you. They did it for you. So it was teaching oriented. And that's why I think we've always had a lot of teachers and nurses because they tend to be very teaching oriented, right? Because of their professions, but nothing's really changed. And that is the most important thing is you're teaching people how to take care of their skin. See what I have seen happen since um, we, the advent of people using social media, which is different than virtual business. We are doing virtual business right now. This is not social media. There's nothing social about this. This is business. We are using, you know, it will be posted on my YouTube, but again, it's business. My Facebook fan page is business. It's not social. And so there's, when we didn't know about virtual business, we were just doing, people were just doing social media and posting everything about their life. Then the people that made the transition and still kept doing social media, they started doing it like other drug selling companies, just throwing a bunch of stuff on the wall and selling stuff. Mary Kay's never been a selling stuff company. We've been a, you teach them how to use it. And if they then like it, they keep using it. But one of the main reasons that they like it is that we teach them that using skincare from the same company, the same line is important. And back in the day when I signed up, it was on our agreement. We could not break the basic skincare set. It was on my agreement. And so when people said they just wanted a foundation, I could say, I can't do that. It's against my contract. And so people started using skincare. And when people use our skincare, they get results. And that is what makes people brand loyal is because they like how their skin feels. Because a lot of people will tell you, oh, I use brand X. And then when you ask them what they use, it's just the foundation or just a cleanser or just a moisturizer. That's not that line. Honestly, I don't want people with Mary Kay Foundation saying they use Mary Kay if they don't have Mary Kay skin. Huge difference. So our job at a class is to teach them how to take care of their skin. And the Skin Analyzer app teaches you what line to tell them about. But literally, you guys, you know, even though we have these different lines and you're going to see a difference in what's taught in a 3D class, in a repair class, you could do the same skincare class, cleanse, exfoliate, tone, moisture balance, and protect. Do a couple details of the products that they're doing that with. Everyone could have different skincare formulas they're using, yeah. and you would have different closing sheets for them, yeah. but that would still be a skincare class. You could do it. Do you understand what I'm saying? Because you're teaching skincare. And then you're just custom fitting them to the product line that's best for them. So we have evolved into this place where people are selling a product and that's not what we were ever designed to do. We were taught to teach skincare. We became a company to teach skincare, customize the product for that woman, have them use the skincare set on my boot camp overcoming objections in the skincare class, increasing skincare sales. And there's another audio training, increasing skincare sales. I encourage you to listen to that. It's teaching you through the whole class, how to focus on skincare and how to make sure, because honestly, you are not doing customer justice if you allow them to walk out with a bunch of supplements and they're not taking care of their skin. That's not being a professional skincare consultant. That is being a seller of product. And that's very different. Someone who's a skincare consultant has a very sustainable business. Someone who's a seller of product, not so much. Okay, thank you, Reyna. I'm gonna stop this segment and then we're gonna go into our repair skincare class.